I'm going to go over how to make a repeating pattern in Photoshop. Uh, it's one of those things that definitely sounds a bit more complicated than it actually is. And the method I'm going to show is really visual and quite easy to get a hang of. So to start, you're going to want your object or objects, depending on what you're doing, on their own layer, ideally with a transparent background. And once you have that ready, you can kind of think of like, how do you want to position this across the screen? I'm going to quickly just duplicate this. I'm going to drag it down here to this new layer button just to copy it. Uh, it's kind of nice to always have your object untouched before you start kind of chopping stuff up. But let's say I want this apple here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over how to repeat from side to side and then top to bottom. And then at the very end, I'll go over the most complicated one, which is if you really want to stick it in a corner, it takes a bit more work. But let's just start with the corner here. Move the uh, object, and you can rotate it and resize it you know, throughout this whole thing. Uh, you can make things look a bit more random that way. But move it into the position where you know you're going to want to repeat. And think about it like this. Whatever you don't see on this side, like that's hidden by the, the edge of the artboard here, will be popping up through this side. So move your object to the corner, and then hit M, which will bring up the Rectangular Marquee Tool. And that's right here in the toolbar right below the pointer. Um, the only thing to really watch out for is make sure your feather is set to zero pixels. If it if it's one or two, you know, you might get fuzzy edges that don't line up right. So just make sure that's set to zero before you get going. And then what we're going to want to do is draw the marquee tool right up to the edge of the artboard here. And it, it should automatically stop, you know, once you hit it, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But just draw right to the edge here. And then what I'm going to do is right click. And if you're on a Mac with a one button mouse or on a pen tablet, hit control and click. But right click or control and click and then select layer via cut. It's basically right in the center here. And what that does is it basically cuts whatever you selected and put it on its own new layer on the top here. So right here is the original, and here's the new one. So select the original one, which you actually cannot see right now, but it's there. Select it, and then while holding shift, and make sure you have your move tool selected. That's V uh, as a default shortcut. But with the move tool, just hold shift and start dragging it right to the other side and it should snap right in place on the edge of that artboard. So right here, we have a perfect repeat already set up. It was that easy. Um, and then you can move them up and down, you know, if you want to, kind of adjust them. But you just keep on doing the same thing. So I'm going to duplicate this layer here, which is the original apple again. I'm just going to drag it right down here to this new layer button. It's a quick way to duplicate layers. And let's do one kind of like right here on the top. So I'm just going to go over this again. Select the, the rectangular marquee tool, and the default shortcut is M. You know, draw that box right up to the edge of the artboard here. Right click or control click, and select layer via cut. And then remember, the layer that you just cut will always be behind the new layer. So here's the one that is behind, like it's right here on the artboard. So I select the move tool by hitting V, and then I just drag down while holding shift, which makes sure I can't accidentally drag left or right. Just keep holding shift until it snaps into place right here on the bottom. And then you can select them both. You can even do this too. You can uh, link these layers if you want to make sure they always are selected together. And that button's right here, uh, kind of near the bottom of the tool, uh, the layers palette. It's in the far left there. You can just select that. And you'll see like a chain link on both of them. So that way, if you select just one and move it, it'll move them both. And now for the, the much more complicated part. If you want to make things difficult on yourself, and you really want to, let's say, just move this right here and do one in the corner. Uh, this is the trickiest way you can do this and will have the most amount of steps. But it starts out the same. Just hit M to pick up your uh, rectangular marquee tool. You know, once again, just draw that box right up to the edges, but make sure you have it all the way to the left edge and the bottom edge, or whichever two edges happen to be selected. And then we're going to go right click or control click, layer via cut. And now we have this layer on its own, and then the one right below it is the one that we uh, want to move. So we're going to do the top first. So just hold shift while dragging straight up and get it to kind of lock in there. Um, something to note, I'll just kind of show you how this looks. It's not going to snap perfectly like it did before because you have a bunch more going on the left and the bottom here. So what we're going to want to do is after you kind of drag it and get it pretty close up here, we're going to want to zoom in, and you can just hit Control plus or minus to zoom in or out really quickly. And just kind of, I'm actually using my arrow keys just to move this up here to the top. 
that should be close enough. I'm not going to be too perfectionist just to show it in this video, but get it up there and make sure it lines up pretty close. And then once again, we're going to have to do this, uh, the marquee tool, you know, select that, drag it over, right click, uh, layer via cut. And now we want to make sure the one behind that's selected. And I'm just going to hold shift and drag this over to the right here. And then once again, because there's still a bit of the apple up top here. Um, so we once again need to do the uh, marquee tool, which is uh, M by default. Just drag it over, right click, layer via cut. Select the layer right behind the one that's currently selected. While holding shift, just drag it down. And now we've got the top of the apple. Um, and there you have it. That's what you do if you do them in the corners. It's uh, quite a few more steps because it's a lot more complicated because not only do you have this top and bottom, but it has to repeat the top and bottom of uh, the opposite side as well since it's going right through the corner here. But this gives a pretty good idea of what exactly I do to make a repeating uh, print. And you know, you can keep on filling up the middle here. You can rotate, resize. And you can rotate and resize throughout, even when you're dragging on the, the sides. Just make sure you do that before you do the cutting, or you'll have to basically start all over. And at the end here, I'm just going to kind of show how you can basically repeat these. I'm going to hold shift and, well, I'm going to select this layer at the top here, then hold shift and select all the way down to my background. And I'm going to right click on the layer or control click and hit Merge Layers. And I'm just going to kind of demonstrate how this will repeat. I'm not sure if it'll be 100% perfect. I didn't spend too much time lining these up. But it should give an idea of how this works. Then you can just duplicate these layers and make sure your Move Tool is selected, which is V by default. Hold Shift, kind of drag up, and get them kind of close here. I'm just using my arrow tools to kind of line them up as best I can. I'm going to duplicate both of these and drag them over while holding shift. And it's pretty darn close. It's not 100% perfect. Uh, there's definitely some more lining up that I would have had to do to make them look absolutely perfect. But it gives you a pretty good starting point. And once you're all done, you can just merge these right click or control click merge layers. But that's basically how you do it. It's it's quite easy once you, you get used to it, and it's very visual, so you don't have to worry about uh, thinking too much when you're doing it. It's just kind of like make sure you draw that marquee tool and then layer via cut, which is kind of like the big secret. So hopefully this was helpful for you, and if it was, please hit like and subscribe. And also in the bottom in the description, I put a link to some uh, resources I sell. If you want to support me, uh, check those out and consider picking something up. Thanks for watching.